We're on a whole new, new level now, right? We're down. Which way am I supposed to go? What about eating a box of fries without hands? Nah. Nah. We gotta go north. Oh, they're giving me heals. Give me all your stuff. Guess they're they're gearing me up for a boss fight, aren't they? Aren't they? Those flying eel things. Here it comes. Flying eel thing fight. No? What is that? Oh yes. Oh my god! What the hell? The Wailing Hose. Okay. He's so pretty. Ow. your butt. dead, right? Oh, no, we got a wave of ads. Wave of ads. Cthulhu by Joe Mad. There you go. Butts. Am I supposed to do something? I'll go in here. I'm gonna just jump in. No. Okay. Uh, go over here. Oh, there you are. Uh, yeah. Is that it? That's it. Welcome back. You are a tentacular. You know that? You are a tentacular person. Level up. Thanks, I can equip all my cool stuff now. Fashion wars in the middle of combat. What does it look like? Shadow of death. Oh, it's arcane crap. It's all arcane. So right now we've got this. Now we have this on. 21 crit damage, 18 strength. What does this stuff look like?
Oh, it looks awesome. It's all the, it's all arcane. Ugh. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's bad. It looks cool though. I know, over some transmutation zones, you're right. That'd be awesome. Hey, look, but when I go into this form, it should be nice and good. See? Oh, yeah, B. Oh! What's that? You got a little death on your face. Oh! Chopped his faceplate off. Oh, fleshy skull. Alright, what do we got? Oh, he sent his eel at me. Come back. You coming back down? Am I going to punch you in the face a few times? What are we doing? Do I get to... No, okay. That was my chance to punch that thing in the face, huh? Spam them abilities. Apparently, Golomancy, the reason why Arcane and Arcane Crit is so bad is it does not affect your abilities. It only affects the rat, the Wraith form, which you can only use every once in a blue moon. I, I totally agree. Like, the, the, the entire Necromancy tree should be affected by Arcane. That would be awesome. Then the birds would do more damage and all that kind of stuff. I don't know why they didn't do that. Why didn't they do that? Don't worry, it'll come back at the worst time. It will, you're right. Give me that pink, fleshy face! Ow. This is just carnage. Absolute carnage. Okay, there we go. Let's do the Legolas. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yes. Oh, he's not done. He's like, get back here. I'm not done with you yet. Yes. Okay. We got Vandersma <laughs> Vandersmash. Forged from materials of realms beyond, brought to one in the name of dark magic, pulsing with an eerie presence of vestigial anguish. This hammer is feared not only for its power, but for its ties to a shadowed cult. They had to censor that part. It was way too gruesome. New campaign, The Abyssal Forge. The Abyssal Forge is a living machine designed to harness the unfocused power of the abyss. The maker who built this abomination, known as the Mad Smith who was shunned by his people and sealed away in the Shadowlands with his creation. Access to this content from additional campaigns on the main menu. What is that? What's the Abyssal Forge? Like after the main story, you still have stuff to do kind of stuff? Stuffy stuff? 
It's time to take off my cool armor. Because it's terrible. It's the DLC. Is the DLC more story or what is it? Let's see what Vander Smash looks like. Oh, it looks like Vander Smash. More story, but very small. Worth playing or no? All right, so we can do crit damage with the Vanquisher Pauldron. We want crit rate, we want crit damage. And not arcane. This is crit damage plus 21 and strength, which is nice. But it doesn't give you. Oh, this has crit damage. This has crit damage. Okay, let's do these. Okay. Uh, on this side. Crit damage. Crit damage. Not a lot of stuff with crit rate. Crit damage plus health. Right. That is our best, or maybe this. Maker body armor. Wow, I really don't have good body body armor. Okay, gloves. Okay, these are the best so far. Crit damage. These are even better. Okay, boots. Real quick. Boots. Boots. 14 strength. These are the best so far. Crit damage. Eh. Maybe. Take those. All right, good enough. I don't need defense. I'm tough. All right, let's save it there. All right, let's go to where the bird is. Horseman, I believe you call. Father, I am the one you seek, and where else would I be but the city of the dead? Would you like to ask a question, or just stand there like you've seen a ghost? You know my question. Tell me how to reach the Well of Souls. The Well of Souls is a place of unimaginable power, the key to life and death, of creation itself. And that is why the well has a key of its own. Well, that was divided long ago. And the three parts. The angels keep one half, and the demons oh, no, the other. Two. And never shall the two meet, unless you truly mean to save your brother. To save war, I would storm the White City. Of that, I am more than certain. But there is no need. The angels have realms beyond the White City, as the demons do beyond their dark kingdom. All will become clear to you once you reach the tree. I've already done that, Crowfather. Nevertheless, you must find the tree again and go wherever it takes you. Absalom lives. Yes, Absalom lives on. His rage and agony spread as corruption, and he will unmake all of creation to destroy the balance. I killed Absalom once, Crowfather. If I could go back, I would see him spared. I doubt he would grant you the same courtesy. So essentially we killed everyone in two realms to get back to this dude. Yes, pretty much. He could have just told us from the start. I know, but he, he, he didn't like us in the beginning of the game. Now that he's dead, he's mellowed out a bit. How can I restore humanity? The Well of Souls is where all life begins. 
where the souls of the dead are born. The crow the looks to have mange. Totally does. I killed the beast that haunted this place. I freed the souls of humanity. And in other times, that would be enough. But something draws power from the well, leaving only void where there once was life. I fear you have only released the souls into further torment. Great. Then there is no hope. Humanity is lost. Not so. Even now, you carry with you the power to restore the well. The Nephilim? If you sacrifice their souls? Oh, no. Yes. They alone have the power to undo what was done. So the souls of the Nephilim are my own people that I carry here in crystals on my chest. If we sacrifice them, we can save humanity and save war. So I must sacrifice the Nephilim, my kin, to restore mankind. The Nephilim are dead by your own hand. That broken talisman is all that remains. Would you leave them to eternal torment in that cage upon your chest? Um... Make haste for the tree. Okay. Didn't he already betray them all <clears throat> to become dead? Yeah, but he feels kind of bad for it, for them. I don't know. He's definitely got some remorse there, some unsolved issues. All right, we all done in here? I think we're all done. Let's go back out. Let's do it. All new items from lands near and far. Magis robes. Vanquisher. Vanquisher bindings are spicy. A Voyager Greaves. Crit chance plus 15%. Strength 20. Execute. Wow, that's a nice one. I think we're just going to snag that and just be done. You guys see this talisman? Look at that one. That was great. Let's buy it. We just buy it. That's all. Give me that thing. Vanquisher Talisman. Oh, yeah. What's my crit rate? Can you see the crit rate stat? No. It doesn't show you. Okay. And I can sell probably a bunch of these old ones. Yes, sell them. The brutal arm blades of brutalness. Brutal buckler. Fair price. Fair price, yes, yes, very much fair. The fairest price in all the realm is the fairness of the price. Why for more stats? On the what screen? On the stat screen? I can't seem to do why. I mean, it gives you more stats for the weapon. Oh, maybe it's X. Ah, it's X. Okay, so my crit chance is 18? Wait, what is my crit chance? 38% right now? 38%. 
Crit damage, 357. Okay. Gotcha. Carrots, cabbages, potatoes. All right, let's go see our main quest. Now, the there's a side quest to kill. We killed Blethir. We killed Gorwood. We killed Echidna. Uh, the last part of that is the deposed king. Is that this guy? That's the last one for uh, Fane. Can I do that now? All right, set that as active. Where's that guy? Over here, Lair of the Posed King. You can do that, okay. Go do that. And then we can return to Thane. That, that might be something we could do in the last 40 minutes, 50 minutes of the stream. Maybe. Oh my goodness, you, you are, are back, back for more. more. That's surprising. Most people run away. Luffy's hat. Two month reserve. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Alright, so we can go in here or we can go down. Hype and love and chat for Luffy's hat's uh, resub, please. I'm already lost. Whoa! Whoa! Watch out for that first step. It's a doozy. Okay. Uh-oh. Let's try that again. Okay. Ah. Come on, camera, catch up. Thank you for the key. Okay. That'll come in handy. I'm guessing. How could I ever get over a small barrier like this? I can run up walls and do all kinds of crazy stuff. Harness the power of crows. But there is no way I could possibly get over that railing. J-Ray, thanks for the bits. Thanks for lurking today, J-Ray. Hope you've enjoyed yourself. I guess we're going back. How about harnessing the power of pros instead? You know, I never considered that. That's a good point. Solid point. <clears throat> Hey guys! How'd that feel? I don't know why I'm freeing him.
What the hell the is this? has more pages, and Valgrim, more keys. Oh, we gotta get all the pages of the dead to unlock that? The Book of the Dead thing? Oh. pages you get a key for a door one door per world ah okay and what's behind those doors because i'll probably never get a whole oh wait i got wait you get a key for a door i got 10 pages i just never went back to volgrim then How is Bros gonna help us here? <laughs> we scrambled Bogolomacy's brain with that one. Does not compute. How annoying is that Soul Arbiter's maze? This is a twisty castle. I don't even think I know where I'm going. Oh, I still didn't make it. I didn't make it the way I wanted to. You get a rainbow farting unicorn. What? Oh, if I knew that, I would have made that my top priority. I really have no idea where I'm supposed to go. I'm hoping this is one of those that I luck into. Hey, look, I can use a key. <clears throat> Bing. By the way, sorry, I'm done with the, the dinner. We want to stop snappers from barking. Holy cow. much damage I cannot oh that was that was an absolute wrecking ball oh, swing and a miss more guys down there we even need to do that let's go right to the right to the meat right to the meat and taters senior ugly dude please don't ice me okay what's this guy's called 
Ow! Oh, this is the post gang. This is him right here. Oh, okay. That wasn't too hard to get to him then. I think I lucked into finding that key real early in the dungeon, Carl, because that could have been really bad. Thanks, Anthony Epic. You like my hairdo? Oh, I wasn't watching my health. Okay, let's try that again. All right, good on you, Depose King. Thank you. Thank you for finally, finally making me do a boss fight more than once. Thank you. All right, I appreciate that. Hi. Hi. Thanks. You're welcome. He deposed me. All right, let's try this. Bjorn says, most people find the door first or the key after, but you found the door first, then forgot where you were ever here and found the key and then the door. You found the door first, then forgot you were ever here. I didn't even, I don't, re I don't even register that I found the door. I just run around. Ooh. Oh, he is very, very annoying. Okay. All right. really hard oh god oh he stuns you with that if you attack when that shield is up you're in a world of study hell. Uh-oh, there it is. Stun me. Okay, all right. I use a heal. Of the deposed king. Argul, the deposed king, forged his mace to wield in battle against his most ancient foes. The scepter holds within it the essence of Argul's cold fury and freezes the blood of his victims with every strike. I don't think I'll ever use that, but okay. Sounds cool. Ah. And then I got this crappy green hammer, too. What did you give me? What'd you give me? This thing? Oh, I can't even use it. It's level 20. 
Can I look at it at least? At least let me look at it. Oh, it does 562 ice damage. Oh, nice. <gasps> need to go back about 20 minutes, but Bog said he didn't need... I don't need defense, Edot. What do I need defense for? I killed it in two tries. It's fine. I respected that boss, Alex. I did. I would like there to be slightly harder bosses overall. That's just me. So now we can teleportation. Can we teleport? Tele teleportate? Over overworld thing map. Let's go over here. Fast travel. Once I stopped getting shield bashed in the face five times, I, I, I took me a while to realize that hitting his shield stuns you in place and allows him to murder you. Not so fast, horseman. You're following me. So I am. Hey, can't do that. I will remain here at the tree. Should you have need of me on your quest? Yes, should you need me. <laughs> oh, and dust has a beak for more than corpses, horseman. Follow him, and you will find the key. Okay. Follow dust, find the key. Can't be that easy, cruel father. You may be right, death. The future is a secret even I cannot keep. SPCAN says, I have not died once in this game yet. I also haven't started it, so that may be part of the reason. Nice. That might be related. Make haste. I see. So this continues the plot. But I wanted to go back to the other realm, right? Is this back to the other realm? I think so. Back to the Forge Lands. Yes. Let's do that. I should try Darksiders 3 and Apocalyptic. My, my issue with playing games in the hardest difficulty settings um, is they require more time to beat. And yes, I would like the boss fights and stuff like that to be a little bit more challenging. I don't want the playthrough to be double as long because, you know, I want to try to beat it on the hardest game mode. All right, so this dude is right around here, right? Thane. Thane. Oh, that's right. Thane. Wait, where is Thane? Thane. Oh, he's right there. That's. He was not there a second ago. Actually, Dark Side of 3, all that changes is your hit points are lower and your dodge window is smaller. Still gonna extend. You thought the gun how long it with takes. Skill and cunning. I suppose you might make a warrior yet. Blether's dead. Blathe will trouble you no longer. I'm sorry, Blathe. The age of blood and claw has ended. But you still have more to prove. That you survived this trial is a sign of your power. And. That your wounds lie deeper than flesh. Garwood is no more. Has passed into the earth. Then we have lost one of our greatest allies. Now, what will you kill next? Kidna will trouble you no longer. Oh, I only wish I'd been there to see her suffering. Few can pass through darkness and emerge unseen. Emerge. I found Argo. Once he was king of the dead. <laughs> I trust you remembered to bow before you killed him. There are creatures yet that will prove your equal. Are you going to give me more quests? No moves available. You're giving me. Okay, he's giving me the quest stuff now.
Okay. No, like, final big, like, reward? Or what? No moves. You watched a guy play God of War 2018 on the hardest difficulty on the first playthrough was rough. That game, um, early in the game, early in God of War, it could be really rough. Really rough. Until you unlock some, some moves and some abilities and stuff like that. But I loved that. I lo I loved that. Once it seemed like it seemed that the game got a little easier toward the end. I wish the difficulty that you had in the beginning would stay through the whole time. All right, so that's done. I guess we go back. I guess we go back to the tree. It's the tree of life. And it moves us all. That's the kingdom of the dead. Do I have to go back there? Or can I just follow the crow? Follow the crow, he always knows. Hey, Tegas, the Hobbathon's going awesome. We're counting down our last 20 minutes of the stream, gang. I could follow the marker. Oh, okay, Direct, directly through here. Uh-huh. This way. It's going great. All right, what's zone? What what land is this going to be? Lost Light. The portal to Lost Light. New area. New area. Hype. All right. Okay, we got an an autumn motif here. I don't recognize this place. Where have you taken me? Lost Light. This place is called Lost Light. It is an outpost far beyond the gates of heaven. And it is here that the angels have hidden the key to the Well of Souls. Okay. Why here? Why not the White City? There are some amongst the angels who would use the key for their own purpose. So it was hidden here to safeguard it from their schemes. Or so they hoped. Okay. About two thirds done. If that is useful information for planning, yeah, that's that helps. We'll um, we're we'll probably jump back into this on Monday. We'll do another big full session of it. Um. Age, the last 20 minutes with the timer says 3 hours and 15 minutes. So the max time for the stream is 10 hours. We did 10 hours yesterday. Any time above and beyond that is for uh, unlocking stretch goals. And you can type exclamation point Bogathon to read all about that at the bottom. You like the artwork in these games? You like to see an MMO in this style? I like this art style as well. Um... Not exactly the same, but World of Warcraft is kind of the style. <laughs> Not exactly the same, but you know, the whole large shoulder pads. I was even remarking uh, earlier in this playthrough that Death, as when he hunches and runs around, he kind of looks like the undead in World of Warcraft. The well has power over all life. It does, though I suspect that is more to your question. Go on, Ryder. Ask it. The four never knew of the well. Why was it kept from us? For fear of what you may have done with that knowledge. The Nephilim could not be allowed to ravage creation any longer. They needed to stay dead. Then the well can bring them back. Ooh. And so we get to the root of it. Yes, the well is the font of all life. Angel, demon, mankind, 
even Nephilim. But from their blades they wrought chaos, and from that was born corruption. You were right to destroy them. Interesting. Okay. The tendency towards purple is very well. I mean, it's undeniable. I mean, obviously, I don't know the nuances of art styles enough to kind of tell you the differences between, like, the WoW art style and this. And, you know, Joe Mad's work is amazing. And I really love Battle Crashers as well. Check out Battle Crashers if you like the art style. Same guy. But, yeah, th I mean, look, look at this. If you compare this... The way he runs and the way he looks while he's running to the undead in World of Warcraft. There are there are comparisons that you can draw. I will remain here at the tree. Should you have need of me on your quest. Battle crashers. Battle crashers. See what you can find. Alright, let's go check this realm out. <gasps> Battle Chasers. Did I say Crashers? I'm confusing ca Castle Crashers and Battle Chasers. I'm sorry. Battle Chasers. Thank you, Helvetica. Thank you. Ten hours, guys. Ten hours. Almost done. It's Chasers. Castle Crashers, Battle Chasers. All these games. <sighs> It's the donuts, guys. It is. It's the donuts. What are you doing? Actually, I, I googled Battle Crashers and it's a Cartoon Network show, so I was very confused. No, no, no. Sorry. <laughs> Battle Chasers. Great game. You can get that game on the Switch, too. You might even be able to get the, cha the Switch version on the Humble Bundle store. And support the stream. You can support the stream with your Switch games now, too. Switch is on Humble. Edot, you finished the whole game? What is going on up there? What's that teleporting dude? Oh, a while ago? Oh, I'm glad I'm glad you enjoyed it. I still want to go back and finish that. I've actually been considering buying it on the Switch so I can play it like anywhere. It was a good one, Rylar. Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy you guys played it. Um, this is a critique I have of this game in particular. Like, this... Like, what is the point of this? Okay, so... We get here through the Tree of Life. Okay, and we have to get up here to the Crystal Spire. Right? Now, I'm sure there's, like, a secret thing or two. But really, you just ride with your horse through, <laughs> through this. There's nothing... There's nothing here! It's just so desolate. It's like, what is the point? Are these guys on PC? Yeah, Battle Chasers is on PC. It's a single player RPG. It's a JRPG. Turn based combat. Really cool art style. Fun story. Fun leveling up your characters and stuff. You agree, Bjorn? All right, we got Volgrim. All right, hey, Over dude, here. what's up? I have new items. If you have the coin, I have the coin, and I have a. I'm gonna get a legacy bo box. Give me one of those. Possess double sides. I don't think I'm gonna even use that. Wait, my crit chance 16. That's not bad. You've made a wise choice. You've made a wise choice. <laughs> All right, give me this. Book of the Dead chapters. Sell. Right? I, I could sell this to him. Do I... S oh, wait. This may be sold, right? To Volgrim. It's just going to give me 20 of those things. Ah, you've collected a bone key. Take this item to the Forge Lands tomb to unlock its many treasures. Okay. You like hearing him saying, take your time? Red. 
fresh merchandise. <laughs> no. Mark Hamill voiced uh, the Watcher demon in the first game. Not Volgrim. No, he, you... Yeah, no, Bjorn, uh, it's it's the Watcher in the first one, but it's another popular voice actor that you guys know. I can't forget, I can't remember his name. No, 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 you guys, Volgrim is a different character than the Watcher. Mark Hamill voiced the Watcher. Volgrim has the same voice actor in both games, but it's somebody different. Somebody can look it up. It's, it's another guy that, yeah, that's it, Phil Lamar, that's it, Phil Lamar, thank you. And he's done a ton of things, too. Okay, and this I'm is... Sure Volgrim has the I don't key, have the key for this. Not part with it lightly. Is that horse your main mount? Yes. Yes, that's my main mount. Alright, we're gonna be wrapping up soon. Can I get the... Can I get the tomb... In the first world? Quickly? Or is that at the end of like a long dungeon? <gasps> oh, I can return to him again? No, I didn't com I didn't complete the second one yet. Yeah, where where is it, Bjorn? All right, can I teleport back here yet? I can teleport here whenever I want. All right, let's do this. Since we're about to wrap up the stream, let's go back to the Tree of Life, and let's open up the first tomb that we just got the key for. And then we'll wrap it up, and we'll save what's going to happen in that new zone for uh, Monday's stream. It's right outside the Lost Temple, okay. The Lost Temple. Ain't lost anymore. Okay. Uh... The Lost Temple. Crucible. Forge. The Nook. Here it is. That temple still refuses to stop and ask for directions. <laughs> Yeah, some folks in the northeast are getting a huge snowstorm, Elden. I'm on the t I'm on the bottom end of it, so we shouldn't get too too much here. I think they're thinking three to six inches this weekend, but I don't know. We'll see. All right, here we go. We got this key. Let's see what's in this. Oh, treasure! The death tomb. I'm right at home. I like the lighting in here. Wait, I want to go stand in the lighting. The squeaky shoes still kill me. The visuals in this game are great. They just are. Oh, lots of gold. Give me that. Possible. Skill point. Oh, nice. I cannot. Oh, I forgot to use skill points. I have like a bunch. I 
I cannot. Impossible. All the stuff. I cannot. Ah. Oh. Okay, we're full up on on scythes now. Okay. Possessed double size. So what we're using right now is Chaos Fang, and I can't upgrade this, no? I can't I can't upgrade that. No. You can only upgrade the possessed ones. Alright. And this is possessed double scythes. It's 125 to 143. This is possessed double scythes as well. But not as good. These are only level 12. These are level 17. So if I'm gonna put I'll just I'll just upgrade this and put some stuff in it to get rid of it. The punishing scythe of fire. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. Level up. Crit damage or piercing damage? Crit damage. Upgrade. Oh, it leveled up again. Nice. Crit chance up to 19 or 42 piercing. Let's do the 42 piercing. Upgrade. What else are we going to put in here? Sure. Okay, and I leveled up again. Inferno damage or piercing? Let's do inferno damage now. Why would this... This goes down. That's really weird. Why does it go down? Is that because I'm using crappy stuff to level it up? That's probably why. Whoops. Whoops! It's okay. I don't think I'm going to use it anyway. And then we got these. Ooh, wretched size of inferno. That makes, like, everything go get better. Ooh, those, those are wicked looking. Chaos Fang. All right. We got a few things over here. Wretched Gauntless Punishing Buckler. Gloves? Anything good? Forge Wraps. That's art more Arcane. Defense 60, Arcane, Resistance... Losing crit damage. All I care about is crit damage. You can always drop it, pick it up again, and you can re-level it. Really? Look, I found a secret. Blade Master Talisman. Of this amulet's creation and history, only rumors and legends exist. Many claim that the amulet once belonged to the enigmatic warrior known as Wicked K. What is certainly true is the talisman's power. Blade Master, as the amulet came to be known, possesses the knowledge and skills of a peerless warrior, a champion of a thousand duels. This amulet can impart some of this knowledge of war to its wielder. So what does it do? What does that do? Execution chain. It does. It just does special ability blade master. What does that do? Impossible. I cannot. I don't know what that does. Crit greater than anything else. That's what I've heard. I cannot. I right, so okay. can't pick that up. What is that? Uh, what is full? All right, now we're full on these things again. Echidna's fangs. The goldwood mole. Yeah, 
Yeah, I have too many things. I have too many things. Alright, we got this purple thing here. Punishing thing of fire. As per the internet, equipping the Blade Master Talisman grants access to all the moves without purchasing them. Ah. Uh, Impossible. I cannot. So that's a waste, because I've already purchased pretty much all the ones I want. Alright, I think we've unlocked everything from here. I guess the, the last, uh, the last treasure room that you get for collecting all of the books probably is really sick, right? Alright, and then how many skill points do I have? I have five skill points. I can I can get the final bird skill. Death's crows imbued with the chill of the abyssal plane deal ice damage to all enemies they strike. How do we get this one? I gotta be level twenty. What level am I? Seventeen. Okay. Thirty-five ice damage. Upgrade the birds. Upgrade the birds all the way. Maximum birds. Okay, and this one increases crit hit chance on teleport slash attacks. Okay. Hitting enemies with a teleport slash also causes an explosion, damaging nearby foes for 641. Do it. Boom. I did it. <laughs> 